Well, sports ministry is like the gospel in action. You're able to, to speak the gospel, but you're also able to be an example on the field and, and doing something that you love. Soccer is the number one sport in the world. You can go anywhere, all you need is a ball. It's the perfect tool, uh, in my mind, to share the gospel. So many people in so many different cultures play sports, and soccer is probably the biggest because it's all around the world. I think my favorite thing is actually playing matches against other teams, and then afterwards getting to share with them. Being able to show the love of God uh, while you're playing, and more so afterwards when you're able to talk with people one-on-one um, -on -one or even to a crowd, uh, explaining why you're doing what you're doing. I have those intentions of, okay, I'm going to use this not for myself, but to benefit others. God just takes that and just expands it and just blows it up bigger than you could ever imagine. Training is a core part of what we do to accomplish our mission. A season of training to prepare players for a lifetime of service. We try to do our, what we call sports ministry training, where we're training our men to, to take their faith and put it on the field. That's through transformation. Going through the material, the sports ministry training material, of just kind of a theology of sports ministry and learning more deeper about how God wants us to be in the context of sport. That's the standard message you have to We all enjoy the game. I love to coach, I love to play. All these guys are driven, they're competitive, but but investing these guys on the spiritual side, that's that's what I get excited about and that I get to do it within the environment of soccer. It's a phenomenal place to grow. From the staff around you, to the opportunities you get, to the leadership you can provide for the team, the perfect place to be as an athlete. I love being a part of, I guess, just a Christian organization that is so fired up about God and using soccer as their ministry. There are a lot of guys that are really serious about growing spiritually and I've been mentored by several so far already. I was challenged uh, to not only improve myself on the field, I was able to grow in, in certain things off the field as well. I don't think I'd be the person I am today without the organization altogether. Being at camp with kids, I felt more alive than I've ever felt. As we try to teach kids how to play soccer to get better, uh, we also share Christ with them, which is our, our main purpose here. This Camp of 200 is being led by two of our student leaders, and they're doing an excellent job giving them a practical experience in, in leadership. Over in Japan, we do clinics for kids as well as uh, playing different university teams. And even though there's a language barrier, playing soccer always helps break it down. And um... I mean, especially when we go to Brazil, it's Portuguese as the language and then soccer and immediately the kids just respond to us because we play soccer, we invest in their lives, and now they're open to hear about the gospel. You go across the country and you pick up a ball and within 10 minutes you have 50 to 100 kids surrounding you and so just knowing that it can easily build relationships. And how one sport, how one soccer ball and a smile can unite two teams who, don't, who can't even communicate because we don't even understand each other. It's hard to describe and being a part of it has been such a blessing. I was really feeling that we were supposed to live alongside people, um, to move into neighborhoods, to move into cities that need Christ's light, and just let Christ's Spirit flow through us there. Sports ministry, being a sports minister, brought us into the neighborhood. We were using soccer to build relationships with the kids through soccer practice and uh, playing soccer out on the field. My heart is to see this whole community transformed by God's love. And so it started with us rolling out a soccer ball two years ago and bringing a couple snacks. And so we'd play soccer for an hour, hour and a half. And we are to have deep relationships with the families here and serve, serve um, in whatever place that you can. They're equipped to go take what they've learned and duplicate it, replicate it in another culture, back at their college team, wherever they go to coach, but we hope that by the time they spent the summer with us, they're empowered to go out and change the world and make life changes. And so we, we just want to be intentional through a motivating platform that draws youth, it's a magnet to youth, to provide that platform to be able to share that message of hope.